All right, today I downloaded one of my favorite applications. Um, it's called a mobile media converter. And basically, if you own like a mobile phone or a mobile device, like an iPod, iPhone, um, oh, what do they call the Blackberry, Androids, like each of those phones kind of require their own little uh, special video codec or video um, or audio codec or whatever. And this uh, application just simplifies it. You know, just drag and drop your your media, your video, audio, whatever it is, and select the uh, the preset like Android or iPod, and it'll just convert it for you, and just put it on your phone and it runs. So I use it all the time. So I highly re recommend this, but this video isn't about this. It's about the icon that it comes with. Um, I changed my icon set to the Fenza theme in the previous video, and the. Uh, this application came with a roundish uh, look and icon thing which is nice but it doesn't really match so I went to GNOME look and uh, fortunately somebody had made one so I downloaded it and now we're gonna install it however since this uh, icon set that I have installed is in my root directory it's gonna be a little bit it's gonna be a little bit tricky because it's not in my home directory. If it was my home directory, it's no big deal. You just basically drag and drop and and you know replace the the other icon with this icon. But since it's in the root directory, we're gonna have to open it up as root. As before, I mentioned about the open folder with root privileges with the uh, Ubuntu tweak. You can also search for this uh, you know open folder with root privileges in your uh, what's it called your Synaptic Package Manager. So just install that, and this will make everything a whole lot easier. Now open up your home folder, go to your file system, and go to uh, user. Now go to share, and now look for icons. I see, there it is. Now these are all your icon set that was installed, you know, via. Uh, PPA, Synaptic, whatever, your package manager, they'll all be thrown into here. So, uh, anyways, here it is. This is the icon set I want to I want to change. So it's gonna be the Fenza. So I'm gonna right click, open as administrator, and it should open. Um, well, you should be prompted for a password, but since I opened something else earlier with my password, it it didn't ask for my password. So, anyways. So here's a set that I downloaded, and he wants me to open it into this particular folder, where I just said before, USR, user, share, icon, Fenza. So we're just going to drag it in there. It's going to be replacing this folder. So we're going to drag it in, and it's going to ask you, do you want to merge it, replace it? So we're just going to merge. It's going to keep asking you do you want to merge you know for every little thing so we're just going to apply it to all additional files so now it should be done so to make sure it, it worked most likely you have to log out and log back in so I'm gonna pause it right now alright so let's see there it is now it's a uh, square. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it for that. Um, let me think of what else can I show you. Okay, I know one. Let me just grab a, a miscellaneous icon. It doesn't matter what it is. I'm just gonna grab this right here. All right. Okay. Now you have a desktop icon. You say you just want to change just the desktop icon, not what we just did earlier. Just, just this right here right click on it hit properties see a little icon right here just click on that and pretty much just browse for uh, anything uh, like a picture or another ping image or, or something it doesn't really matter like here's a screenshot that I took a while ago let me see if that'll work yeah it worked <laughs> so you can even put like a oop sorry you can even put like personal pictures in here if you wanted to to change the desktop icons if you like. That's another little stupid little trick. 
But anyways, mm, I think the next video should be the the Carl doc. So uh, I'll see you then.